Hi, I'm just going to come on here, family. How are you? And I have a thought. Um, I've been looking at a lot of YouTube videos um, that feature a lot of our young men and a lot of comments on the different groups that are teaching the word for um, our nation. Um, they're teaching us that we're the Israelites and they're teaching us Bible scripture and showing how it's relevant. They're also showing um, <clears throat> other historical writings to prove, along with the Bible, uh, the, these truths that we are learning as awakening Israelites. Um, there's a lot of uh, criticism of their methods. You know, I know that they stand on the street and they're very provocative. But you have to remember when you read the scripture, it, the scripture does say cry aloud on, on the highways and, you know, get on the streets and the markets and shout loud. And it might be offensive to some, but remember this truth is spoken in ven many different venues. That's not the only venue that it's being taught in. As a matter of fact, you even have the so-called white man acknowledging this truth. And for those who are criticizing the methodology and the delivery of, the, of this special word, I want to remind you that these young men, these are our warriors. Okay, we are at war. These are our warriors, and they're recruiting other warriors. Now, we don't have physical armies. They're speaking the Bible. They're not criminals, and they're getting a lot of knowledge, and they're sharing their knowledge. Now, in the real world, in the world of the Edomites, these would be theologians. They would be teachers. They would be museum curators. They would be um, historians. These are actual jobs that the Edomites have created with all of their lies and bullshit. These young men, these are, these are jobs that can be created for these young men. Um, they're very knowledgeable on history. They can look at history. They can teach history. These are our teachers. They can teach young people what's really going on. Now, in the world of the Edomites, let's see. Let's see. A teacher, an average nationwide salary is probably around forty-five to 50000 a year. Okay? If a historian or, or a museum curator have a job, they can make anywhere between thirty and 80000 a year. These are our, and you just put someone in the army. They can make anywhere from thirty-five to fifty thousand a year, and if they're officers, they can even make more. So stop criticizing these young men for being um, prophets and visionaries. They're recruiting. They're recruiting their peers, and that's a method to recruit. So stop criticizing them. You're supposed to love your brother, even if some of the um, camps are teaching something a little bit different than other camps. They're pretty much all the same on this word and this truth. So stop criticizing each other. Get together. These are jobs that we can create for ourselves. We can open museums. We can get on a circuit for... Um, lecturing. These are jobs. These young men are qualified. So I want to stop all of the, uh, I want to encourage the different camps to stop criticizing each other, stop following each other, competing on the same street. Don't do that. If we're going to be nation building, then we need to be a little more cohesive. And I'm quite sure that when we were back in the day, excuse me, my phone keeps ringing. I'm quite sure that when we were in ancient times and we had camps, we probably had different uh, ways 
that we practice this book. As long as the message is the same, and as long as we are following God's word, because you know the first time you start following man, we're going to be flawed. And I think the Most High understands that we're dealing with oppression. We're dealing with a society that has taught us lies, a society that is oppressing us. We don't need to be doing that to each other. So stop it. Stop it. As a matter of fact, if you have so much talent yourself, and if you think you're so right, then open a museum and give these brothers um, a job and give them a structure of discipline. It's, that's all it is. These young men are going to mature into young men. They have knowledge and they have abilities. Give them a job. Give them structure to direct their energy. You know, when you were young, you were kind of wild and, and loud and passionate. These young men are passionate about what they're doing. And so just, you know, for you older heads, open a museum, open a school. So we need to teach our own children anyway. These young men are qualified. So get in code, family, get in code. Stop criticizing these young men, and all they're doing is, you know, they're doing the Lord's work. Stop criticizing them. Give them structure. Create something to employ them. All right. That's about all. I just wanted to say my piece. Um, open a business and spend your money with black businesses. Open a business so that we'll have a nation. This is nation building. Let's get in code and build some nation. Okay? Worldwide. All right. Peace. Shalom. And glory be to the Most High. Always.